Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode. I'm in what's probably the most iconic place in Japan, the beautiful city of Kyoto. Uh, I hitchhiked my way from Nara this morning, it was very easy. And now I'm here. I'm gonna spend a few days in this beautiful uh, city because I'm still waiting for my computer to get fixed. I dropped in in Osaka a few days back and I'm still waiting for an email. But anyway, this is the best place probably to be stranded in. There's a lot of things to do. So I better get cracking. I just received an email from the Apple Store in Osaka. My computer is ready. It's a brand new day. Sorry about this face. I just woke up. <laughs> this is where I camped. It's a temple, really close to the city. And uh, I never actually explained to you how it is to uh, sleep in uh, cities with a tent. Uh, it's actually not a big deal. What I usually do is just uh, go to restaurants at night. Uh, I'm gonna, I um, usually charge my devices there, get some rest. And then by 10, 11, at night I just walk to a park or in this case a temple which is the first time actually I sleep in a temple and uh, yeah I just put my tent down sleep and by 6.37 I wake up uh, repack my tent and then leave pretty much nobody notices notices me usually but today I got kicked out that's a bicycle of a monk that just told me that I shouldn't camp here which is totally fine I'm gonna find another place in two or three days right the plan for the day is um, exploring the rest of Kyoto and especially the central part of the city. So let's do this. Time to make a move again. Uh, I've been in Kyoto for five days now. The first three days exploring, the last two days just resting and editing. I had a really, really sore left foot. And luckily now it's way better. That's good news because my next destination is gonna be Mount Fuji. Um, to get there, I'm gonna hitchhike. I have no rush this time, so hitchhike is the only way. <laughs> I don't take public transportation as an option. Um, at this time, I think I found a really good spot uh, for hitchhiking. There's a um, service station right at the entrance of the highway and it's accessible by foot apparently, so I'm heading there. And it's already 9 p.m., so I'm gonna camp there, hopefully, if there's some grass. 
and then uh, hitchhike tomorrow morning. Let's see how it goes. Right, I'm done for today. It's been a long day, about 10 hours. I did almost 200 kilometers and I'm way over halfway, so it was definitely a productive day. I got dropped off in the best parking area ever. It was like, what, 20 restaurants or something? <laughs> it's awesome, shoot tomorrow. I'm gonna get a ride super fast. And uh, I'm also in a beautiful place, look at this. That's fantastic and there's a park that way. I don't know if you can see from the camera, but that's where I'm gonna camp tonight. So, happy days. <laughs> Here I am finally, it took me uh, eight cars in about 30 hours, but I'm here on time. I planned on uh, attacking the mountain tonight and the last bus is gonna leave in two hours. So I've got plenty of time now to get some food. Um, yeah, the bus is gonna bring me to station number five, which is at 2,200 meters. And then I have 1,600 meters left to reach the summit. Uh, visibility is terrible. I can't see the mountain and uh, the forecast is cloudy but it's the same for the next week or even more. So it's pointless for me to wait. I'm gonna just attack it and hoping for the best. I'll see you on the bus.
Back at the fifth station, this is where I camped. I'm about to take it away. And guess what? The mountain is clear. Damn it. <laughs> we waited an hour on top and also on the way back in two hours, we didn't see anything, it was all foggy. So it was really hard to predict. Plus they, uh, the forecast is thunderstorm throughout the day. So anyway, but it doesn't matter. I had a great way up. Uh, this, the, the moon, the full moon was lightening the whole way and it was almost like a magical thing. There was no one on the trail, all the lights were off. Usually this trail is very, very busy uh, during peak season and uh, there's thousands of people climbing, but not now. The season closed four days ago and nobody adventures up there. So it was really, it was really magical the way up. Unfortunately, we couldn't see anything. I couldn't see the crater. I love craters and that's a bit of a bummer, but it's all right. Uh, anyway, this is the end of the episode. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you next week.